Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be a little bit different than the other ones. I'm going to be showing you how to do really well in some of your university classes without having to take notes. As some of you might know and some of you might not know, I'm actually a very seasoned university student and I have a previous degree in science um, and I'm currently taking a nursing degree, which is my second degree. So I've done this definitely a lot of times before and I kind of know what works and what doesn't work, at least for myself. So in my early years of university, I thought that I could just read the notes, memorize them and then on tests and assignments just do well and that's not how it works, especially in university. If there's just going to be so many required readings, so much stuff to read and to know, it's so hard to memorize it all. You kind of need to refocus your studying into something a little bit better than that. And that's why university is a little bit better for people that um, can problem solve in that way because you can't just read a bunch of stuff and memorize it like you can in high school. So that being said, it took me a few years to find out what kind of study habits and what kind of study style works for me. And um, there are a lot of lows and highs in university. I have found this method works really well for me. And my advice right now to you is like, don't be afraid to try new things that might work well. Some things might not and some things do, but you at least have to try and see what works best for you in your life, in your situation. So in particular, I use this method for my anatomy class, which is a class I took this year in nursing since anatomy is required of that of a nurse. And I just realized that there was so much reading in the textbook and there were so many small things to know that if I were to spend all my time reading through the textbook and trying to copy down notes for every little bodily function and process that there is, I would, it would take up all my time and it's just, it's not a very effective way to study. So my first tip into not taking notes and still doing well is you have to stay organized and honestly like being organized not even just in anatomy but being organized in university is key you need to be organized because there is just so much work so many deadlines so much stuff that you need to do and if you're not organized like that's the first step to failure like you need to have a good plan of like what you need to do and when you need to do it so i really like writing my stuff down i know with technology, there's the calendar um, on, on your phones and on the computer, like you can use certain apps which are really great, but personally I like to write things down. So this is my planner that I have. You can honestly just get them anywhere. I think I got this from Chapters Indigo. Um, but in nursing in particular, for some reason, my school puts all the nursing classes with the same, like kind of the same looking course code. So it gets really confusing. It will be like nurse 1000, nurse 1002. So it gets really confusing as to like what's due. So color code your stuff. So for example, I color code each of my classes so that I know which class is which, like bio is green, nursing 1000 is blue, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and basically going and just writing down everything that's due this week, everything that I have to do, all the modules to watch, all the textbook readings, whatever else. And then the actual days itself, I like to um, dedicate certain days to just working on all that work because I work best of just focusing on like one subject and then getting that done and then going on to the next. Obviously you might work differently and that's fine but I like to dedicate certain days to just focusing on that work to get it done because along with modules and along with lectures there's just so much other stuff to keep track of and then obviously you want just an overall month that you can look at the, everything that's due and just write it down so that you have a nice visualization of things that are due and when you need to start working on them. So that's very important to do. Like you need to be able, you need to do that to succeed in university or you're going to forget about quizzes and there's small assignments here and small things that are due here. Like you need to have that down pat. Even set yourself reminders is really good as well. So this second tip is really, really, really useful, especially in our age of technology where we have everything that's so accessible with the internet. So use your resources. I know for anatomy in particular, um, our textbook came along with some module simulation type of thing. And it was like looking at the body parts and looking at a cadaver and like actually looking at pictures and you can turn the pictures in like a 360 view to like actually get a good view from different angles. The animations help a lot when you're trying to figure out how things work, how things go together, what they look like at different angles. So definitely use resources that are available from your textbook. And then honestly, just using Google and looking for like games, like a really, really good idea is playing like matching games. There's a million of them on Google and you can literally just put in the body system that you want to study, like for anatomy, and then they'll set you up with a game and that you can match all the body parts to the right place in a certain amount of time so it's really good to get you to practice learning that without actually having to just like look at it a million times like you actually have to deal with it also i think youtube is such a helpful resource right now like i'm using youtube for everything 
especially for things that are really, really hard to learn, like cellular processes, YouTube has the best resources. Just looking at things, how they work. People make such creative and engaging videos on YouTube that like it's the best to use to learn things. If you're not sure about how the renal system works or how your body maintains uh, potassium and sodium and all those things, there's so many great videos on YouTube, like for med students, for nursing students and even just regular students that show like how those processes work and they make them so 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 fun and like I just love using YouTube. So my third tip is to review. So obviously if you're not writing down notes you don't have the notes in your textbook but you still have to review your things. At least try once a week to review everything. I know that gets busy especially being a student and you have a million things that are due. But try to dedicate a week to review what you learned that week and just so it keeps fresh in your mind and then maybe every couple weeks take a day and then review the first four weeks of the semester so that you can keep fresh everything you're learning since you're not writing down notes. Okay, so my fourth tip is to use monomics and this is just a really really standard tip that everyone kind of says especially for anatomy because there's so much stuff to know. So an example that I learned for the cranial nerves since there's 12 of them and it gets a little bit confusing is on occasion our trusty truck acts funny very good vehicle anyhow. So that's a good way to remember um, the 12 cranial nerves and obviously just the beginning letter of the word is the beginning letter of the cranial nerve so like on occasion so olfactory optic etc. So definitely monemics, you need to find one that works for you and that you're going to remember and that kind of is different and maybe funny or can be a little dirty, like whatever works for you and to help you remember. And then my last and final tip is to draw things out. Now this is something that works for me in particular because I like to visualize things, but if it doesn't work for you, that's okay and you don't have to be a good drawer either, but like for example, if you're learning the lobes in the brain and which where they are, then I loved to draw them out and then color code them and just me visualizing where they are in the brain by drawing them out, obviously while looking at a picture of a brain, um, and then coloring them in certain sections like for the parietal lobe or the occipital lobe and just drawing them out, which you don't have to be a good drawer for. Um, I find that really helps for me. And then with drawing it out, I also find if you are gonna make notes, please don't go through the whole textbook and like write word for word notes because that's gonna waste all of your time. But if you are gonna make notes, I found it's really, really helpful to take a whole chapter, say, um, say the digestive system, take a whole chapter and like make a little cheat sheet page and you can make it colorful, put diagrams, put pictures, and honestly don't put a lot of writing on it because that takes away the whole point of it. But just take like really simple pictures or you can do like a flow chart or do like a cycle thing where like this leads to this leads to this and I find that helps a lot to just kind of summarize the main points and ideas and then that way when you are studying for your final exam you can look at that sheet and you can go okay like I remember this and I remember what goes into this and it's kind of just a main overview whereas instead if you just take notes from a textbook you're just reading over the notes being like okay and it, it might not be really sinking in if you're just reading the same sentence over and over again but I find by looking at pictures or visuals, and you don't have to draw it out, you can make some in uh, in Word or whatever else you use online where you can just take pictures on the internet and put it in and just make a little like summary sheet. And I find that helps a lot. All right, well, those are some tips that I found from my previous degree and that I'm using in my nursing degree right now. So far, they have been very successful for me. And I honestly, I'm not someone now that takes notes from lecture. I don't take notes from the textbook because personally, it takes me way too long considering all the work that I have to do for my other classes and for other assignments, it's just not good. Um, if you really, really want what the textbook has, then just make little sticky notes and put it in there so that when you want to study, you can just go right to that page and then you have all your information there. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other good tips, you can leave them in the comments below and we can all share our helpful tips for university.